Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to part 15 of my City Living LP here on The Sims 4. So, in the last episode, something really, really surprising happened and Vincent actually caught Penny at a bar in Oasis Springs after the housewarming party when Penny just said, oh, I have to nip out quickly, I shouldn't be too long. And you know, Vincent was a little bit suspicious about where she was going and she actually, well, he actually found her with, flirting with somebody else in a bar and it was totally random just after they've moved in together, just after they became official in their relationship and just after they've had this big house party and this happened it was totally random and Vincent was just absolutely shocked he was just so annoyed and you know their relationship kind of just went really awkward from then and they've kind of you know uh, fixed it in a way um, they are kind of on good terms now but you know he's still a little bit suspicious to what other secrets she could be hiding um, and yeah so he actually found out that that person that you know she was with was actually a policeman now that kind of really scared Vincent because you know you never know what um, what Penny could find now Vincent went out to the bar with Akira and you know they just went to have a couple of drinks and did some karaoke and it kind of put him in a good mood and he came home he's really really tired and he's just you know he's just feeling really uncomfortable and he come in and he couldn't find Penny straight away that kind of you know made him a little bit suspicious but you know he, he just checked the rooms and he came in this one and for some reason the door was open now when he came in look who was in this room <laughs> oh god Penny was in here looking at these photos and he see and she's seen these two things and you know she, ha she hasn't uh, confronted Vincent yet but she is about to and you know Vincent's just gonna like yell at her like why on earth are you in here um this is you shouldn't be in this room and you know oh my god <laughs> I know this was gonna happen at some point but you know Vincent's just an absolute shock here because you know, this was never really supposed to happen. Uh, Vincent, you know, had the key and he had it locked away. And for some reason, Penny managed to find it. So, you know, it's like, well, what's going to happen next? So Penny's like, what on earth is this? This is like, I'm like, well, oh my God. So she's kind of not too bothered about it. She isn't really thinking much of it. And Vincent's kind of go along with it, like, thank God. Um, and Penny's like, well, what on earth is happening here? And, you know, Vin they've kind of just been talking quickly and they've kind of agreed already to not say anything because, you know, Vincent's kind of found out a couple of things about Penny, which he's not really too sure of, but he's like, well, I could, you know, Penny was just threatening him that, you know, I could go to the police. And, well, Vincent's saying, well, I know a couple of things about you that, you know, I could easily just call you in for as well. So... He hasn't actually told her what those are because he isn't really sure. He kind of just made that up, really, uh, because kind of the only thing he could think of to make her not go to the police. Um, but luckily, she's kind of agreed to it, and they kind of just put it the, uh, put it behind them quickly, and they're just going to get out of this room because they shouldn't be in here. So I'm going to get them both to come out here, and Vincent's got to lock the door quickly because he doesn't want anybody to come in here. And that kind—I of, don't know why the door's still open. Now. Well, let me reset it. Um, oh my God, there's mice everywhere. Why? Why isn't this working? There we go. So, it still is open, but, um, I mean, we could try and go in again. Hang on, why is the door not closing? Hmm. I don't know why this is happening, actually. Let's lock the door for everyone but Vincent. I'm going to try and go into map view, and then just exit it out quickly. See if that helps. Uh, no, it's still open. Oh, well. Well, at least we know it's locked. Let's just pretend that it's actually closed. So, um, they kind of put it behind them. It's kind of made Vincent feel a little bit awkward. And they're just going to, you know, try and put themselves on good terms again. Just pretend that that didn't happen. Luckily, Penny's a little bit confused. And she just isn't really going to question Vincent about it. Because, you know, she's just not really too sure. Um, so, they're just going to talk a little bit. And they've got to fix this. Um, Vincent's just noticed that this is. So, he's kind of a quick distractor. And um, so, let's get him to uh, uh, complain to the landlord. And um, kind of a bad idea bringing somebody else in the room after they've just found this hopefully penny isn't going to mention it to him but I, I have a feeling it's going to be okay so let's um the door's unlocked which is great um i'm going to get him to clean up a little bit um his the house is just in an absolute state at the minute um i'm going to get him to you know, fix up his needs a little bit and see how the rest of the day takes us so as you can see he is in a little bit of a bad uh, state at the minute he's a little bit worried that you know penny's just found this and it's kind of just making him being really uncomfortable just around around her so i'm going to get him to fix up his needs a little bit and he really needs to get out of the place because you know he just needs to escape a little bit after everything that's just happened recently with you know um with the 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 cheating the other day and this has just been you know discovered now 
And he's just really confused and a little bit scared about what everything's happening. As you can see, he's just sitting on the toilet, like just thinking about his life and what bad things have been happening recently. And there was Dakota just going in, actually. Anyway, that's, well, I don't know why I mentioned that. Oh my god, energy failure. I can't be bothered. Let's just reset him. Um, so I'm going to get him to go and take a nap um, quickly. Also, I just found something on the forums the other day, kind of a little bit unrelevant, but um, I found this thing where they said if you put a double bed up against the wall, the person who's getting in the side of the bed, which is against the wall, can actually climb over the bed and get into it. I don't know why. It was just like a popular thread on the Sims forums the other day, and I don't know why. I haven't tried it out, but maybe I'll do that at some point. Anyway, um, I'm going to get him to rest up a little bit here so he can actually walk around so he's not too tired. Okay, so Penny's just a little bit tired of everything, and she just went to bed. Like I said, luckily, she isn't really thinking much of it, which is great. Um, and now, well, Vince has got a chance he's going to go in this room and take down these things and i'm going to get him to head over to oasis springs to the motel because you know it is a good escape for him because um oh my god he's just energy failed again let's reset that and try that again put an inventory put an inventory and then i've got to do the pictures myself um so he's going to head over to the motel like i said because that is a good escape for him um he's done that before you remember in part a when he actually killed these two people he went over to the motel for the night because um you know it was a good escape for him just to get away from his problems so he didn't have to face reality really and he's going to do that again because he's kind of a little bit suspicious about penny and Tao just found this out and she isn't really reacting to it in any way. And you would think that she would be reacting to it in, in a more like serious way, but she really isn't. So that's great. So I'm going to get him to go here alone and take the remains and try and like hide them or just leave them there um, in a safe place. And hopefully that nobody will ever find them again. Okay, so he's here at the motel and he just didn't really think that he hasn't actually told Penny where he was went. Luckily she was asleep, so he had that opportunity to go and take the things down. Um, but I'm just going to get him to uh, send her a text just to say that I had to nip out really quickly while you were asleep. I didn't want to uh, wake you up or anything so I just head out by myself um because there is a couple of family problems Aaron isn't really in a good health state at the minute um which is a good excuse that he can use because he really isn't in a good health state so you know using that excuse is good because you know it should be able to believe it really easily so I'm gonna get him to um oh my god he's energy failure again um I'm gonna get him to teleport him up here once he's finished with his energy failure um and I'm gonna you know get him to fix up his needs a little bit Maybe just take a quick shower um, and then head off to bed because, you know, he just wants to put all this day behind him. The last two days have just been an absolute mess for Vincent. He just hasn't really been in a good state. He's just... It's just problems after problems. And, you know, like I said, the real reason he came to Samai Shuno was to improve his singing skill and reach fame like he's always dreamt of. But every day there's been a problem in his way which has kind of stopped him from doing that. So he wants to really get back into this mindset of trying to reach this dream that he always wanted to do um but yeah so i'm gonna get him to finish up the night here i'm gonna get him to maybe just get these out of his inventory because it's kind of just making him really anxious by having them here and um, i'm gonna get him to try and find a safe place where i can put them somewhere on this lot but there isn't really any way i can put them out, actually so Let's see. If there's anywhere in this room we could maybe put them. Um, we could actually put them in this room here because there isn't actually a door. Um, or maybe, you know, I think what would, what would be best is to just keep them in his inventory. Because that way, you know, it's with him all the time. And there's no chance of somebody else finding them because they're with him. Um, so I'm actually going to end the episode here because um, there's still lots more drama to come. Um, and, you know, like I said, if you didn't see my video on the 27th of November, I made a 30 second trailer to what's coming up on this week on City Living. It's called Uncovered. And by seeing this episode, the Uncovered title might be making a little bit more sense now. Um, as the week goes on, you, every bit that you've seen from that trailer might make more sense. Um, and yeah, so if you didn't see that, then just go ahead and watch it. It was only 30 seconds, giving you a little insight to what's coming up this week on City Living. Um, so like I said, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave some comments section down below in the comments comment section. I don't know why it sounded weird that I said comments twice there, but it kind of made sense. Um, down below with some suggestions for what I see in the future of this storyline and the future of this LP. You can use the hashtag TTVCL on the gallery to submit sims and lots for this LP. If you enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like, share and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!